YouTube, I want to give you an update on the Denali uh, 2022 Ultimate. Uh, I got a call from the finance, where the sales manager from the dealership uh, last Wednesday. He was supposed to call me back on Friday. I did not hear from him. Uh, I texted my salesman on the uh, Monday. He said he, the guy was going to get with me soon. I did not hear from him until the day is Tuesday. I called, left him a voicemail, still no word from the salesman. Uh, as I read more information on the Denali Ultimate, what I find right now, if you go to the website, you can't even add a Super Cruise option. Uh, that was the reason that I wanted the Denali Ultimate. Uh, then also, uh, I hear that the 6.2 engine is not even available uh, for some of the trucks. So... So now I'm not getting any information directly from the dealership. Uh, so it's just not happy. I'm not really happy with the whole process now. So what I decided to do, go look and compare other trucks and brands and things of that nature. I never own a uh, Toyota truck or a I have a Nissan Titan truck now. It's a 2013. I bought that used. Uh, that will remain my work truck. Uh, I've never owned a Dodge. I've owned Ford and Chevrolet. Um, never owned a Dodge, so I said, let me just look at some of the websites and see what's going on. And and the Toyota Capstone, the Tundra, uh, and which is another one that, and it just so happened the dealership, which is two and a half miles from my house, actually stated that they had a truck in transit. Uh, so I went by the dealership today. And they did not have a limited... Sorry, could you say that again? Oh, Siri, Sorry. Siri, not talking to you. Um, so I went by the dealership today, and they did not have a limited test drive. So one, I haven't sat down in a uh, Dodge truck. And so, and I was supposed to come back this afternoon. So I went back this afternoon. Uh, they let me test drive a Larry, which my son has a GMC SLT. I really never driven a Denali. I just wanted to do an upgrade because his SLT drove well. So the Larry, it drove just as well as the SLT. So the Limited has the air ride suspension. So I talked it over with the wife and a couple of friends. And I found out the Limited that they had coming in it was actually in Memphis. And that's where I live, in Memphis. Well, outside of Memphis. And so they have to find a truck driver to get it over. And that could be up into Friday or it could be all within two weeks. Um, the one of the things about it, I'm going to show you some pictures of the particular truck. Um, so we talked about the price and our down payment and reserving that truck. And I tried to, I was hoping that the truck was sold, but it wasn't. Reason being is because, you know. I just don't know at this point, but I really like the ride on that uh, Laramie. And that Laramie was a 2021, and this particular truck is a 2022. So, guess what? I put a down payment down on the truck to reserve it. And I told them to see if they can get it to me by Friday, which there's no guarantee. Because uh, I'm going to be out of town for two weeks. But, again, GMC, you had an opportunity. Oh, I text my... Salesman at GMC, and they're trying to sell me all types of other trucks, SLTs. Oh, they may have a Denali coming in. That's not an ultimate. The refresh. That's not what I wanted. Uh, so I, I'm opted to go with the uh, limited Dodge Ram. So, again, GMC, you had your choice. This is the second time in my adult life I've tried to negotiate with GMC, and I haven't been successful yet. So again, um, you're looking at a new, hopefully soon, a new Ram driver. Dodge, thank you, and I hope you treat me good. Talk to you later. Bye.